speaking about the beauty in the life of prayer, the disciples of Jesus asked him to teach them to pray. They had seen him do miracles, teach on the kingdom of heaven, share stories and parables, answer questions, cast out demons. But they asked him to teach them to pray. They didn't ask, teach about prayer or how to pray or what prayer is. They asked, teach us to pray. And in Luke 11, we see him sharing a simple prayer, which is expanded in Matthew 6. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. That's expanded in the Sermon on the Mount. And when we marinate that with the Beatitudes, we have this beautiful posture and pattern of prayer with some clear principles of what we learn about a life of prayer. As you enter into this prayer, recognize that it's about our connection with God in eternity, connection with God right now, today, connection with God who was in our past and God who is in our future. And it's God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So as we enter the life of this prayer, we recognize that Jesus is inviting us into his life, acknowledging that the prayer is given in the context of a culture of forgiveness and reconciliation. And he came to earth to go to that cross, to open the door so we could encounter the love of God in the face of the holiness of God and the authority of God. So the prayer connects us with eternity, our Father in heaven. The key that unlocks that door of prayer is our helpless dependence upon him. Blessed are the poor in spirit, but theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The second key is blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted as we cry, hallowed be your name, like Isaiah, having a vision of the authority and holiness of God and the angels and the seraphim. And he, and he hears holy, holy, holy. He cries, I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. And then the coal, the fire of God's grace touches his lips. And he's ready to say, here am I, send me. He's connected with eternity by the grace of God. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He's now ready to carry the weight of that responsibility of being the ambassador of heaven on earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So prayer connects us with eternity, with heaven. Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Prayer connects us with today, with the present. Give us today our daily bread, everything we need to nourish our life, our, our thinking, our emotions, our social relationships, our physical being, our vocational uh, calling, but most of all, our spiritual walk with God, the Father, Son, and Spirit. And the key is, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that at the heart of all our physical and other needs is a need to encounter Jesus to sustain us today. It's a prayer for the present, for this day, to cast out anxiety about tomorrow. And then it's a prayer about the past, and what God has done to cover our past. Forgive us as we have forgiven. There's an assumption that we go back to the cross, the place of forgiveness, that Jesus cancels a debt, sets us free, and we choose to forgive and we receive the application of that work at the cross today through forgiveness and confession, repentance. So it's about the past that we repent of the past. We are present with God to be nourished, but we repent of the past. We ask for forgiveness and we forgive. It's covering the past. 
And then we're ready for the future. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It's a prayer about the future. We live in the dominion of darkness, but we've been taken into the kingdom of the sun. So we walk in prayer with the sun to pray for his kingdom to come. And as we walk, we ask him to guide us so that we don't get tempted into darkness and that we can go through all of the attacks of the enemy in this evil age. And we know that this prayer is about the future and it gives us hope as we trust in him. It's a prayer about the life of Jesus in us, speaking to the Father and the power of the Holy Spirit so we can be a blessing to all nations in Jesus' name.